You probably know of the Canada goose as an aggressive, huge bird. That is not too far from the truth. Another thing you probably think about when you see the Canada goose is their migration. During winter, they fly in a V-shaped formation for their summer home farther south. The reason they fly in a V-shaped formation is so they experience less resistance from the wind. During summer, they fly back north to have chicks. They fly as far north as the upper Arctic. Breeding season for the Canada goose starts in February and ends in April. When Canada goose find a mate, they mate for life and always come back to that same partner. The female goose will find a nest site. This is important for Canada geese. They use the same nest site every year. The female goose will build a nest in an elevated position close to water. The male will stand guard while she builds. The female goose will lay four to nine eggs. She will incubate them for 28 to 30 days. The male guards her while she does this. The eggs hatch and they have their eyes open and can walk and swim almost immediately. The mother and father will guard the hatchlings. However, they don't feed the chicks. The chicks will forage for food and eat themselves. After a year, male chicks will leave their parents and live with all male flocks. Females will stay with their mother for three years. After breeding season, Canada geese form flocks to forage for food together down south. Even though they migrate to warmer weather, Food is still scarcer in the winter, and being in a flock helps them locate food easier. Canada geese are mainly herbivores and will eat things like grass, shoots, grains, berries, and aquatic plants, although they do sometimes eat things like insects, small fish, and crustaceans. Canada geese have a very aggressive nature. As a result, very few predators will mess with them. However, wolves, coyotes, owls, hawks, eagles, and falcons will attack adults. Chicks are on the menu for even more animals. Raccoons, foxes, bobcats, gulls, crows, ravens, and magpies will attack a chick. Despite all these threats, Canada geese are good at defending themselves. When they notice a threat, they bob their heads up and down. They also make a hissing noise. If the predator doesn't move away, they will charge and bite the predators. The Canada geese population has been increasing over the past years. This is because of humans. When we see a body of water that we like, humans will usually cut the vegetation around it and make it short so that way we can see into it. This is good for Canada geese as they will choose to nest here because it will be easier to spot predators. As a result, over the past years, their population has exploded. We've made conditions so good for them that some Canada geese in certain areas have stopped migrating as they're able to find enough food and don't need to waste energy migrating.